Celebrity Shorts. The one where Ross gets mistaken for a thief. Cops in the UK are on the hunt for a thief that's the splitting image of David Schwimmer, aka Ross, from Friends. Blackpool police were trying to identify a man suspected of stealing at a restaurant and put out a CCTV still of him clutching a crate of beer on Facebook to ask for help. Amused netizens immediately pointed out the man's uncanny resemblance to Ross Geller and soon turned the post into a Friends fan fest. As the Ross quotes and theories piled in, even the Scottish guys in blue chimed in with a warning to stay away from the dude who's believed to have mastered the art of unagi, the state of total awareness. Blackpool police also responded by saying they confirmed David Schwimmer was in America on the day of the theft. Still, the actor himself took to social media on Wednesday to prove his innocence, hilariously posting a video alibi showing him with a crate of beer in New York. We're sorry it had to be this way, Ross, but we never suspected you for a minute. We all knew who it was. Damn, you really do look alike. Chinese mom threatens to disown girl who is addicted to plastic surgery. 29-year-old Yu Bing recently made headlines in mainland China for her crazy plastic surgery experiences. Yu had some 20 plastic surgeries in the past, including jaw contorting, nose reconstruction, and double eyelid operations. But she is still not satisfied with her looks and says she wants to grow taller by having bone extension surgery in which a doctor would break her shin bones to insert implants. Yu desires to be another Fan Bingbing, a world-famous Chinese actress. Fan, known for her perfect skin, big double eyelid eyes, and sharp nose, has long been troubled by a plastic surgery scandal. The actress strongly denies the accusations and says she was born pretty. Yu's mother went on a talk show aired by Dragon TV to complain about her daughter's plastic surgery addiction. The 61-year-old mom said her daughter has already blown 800,000 Chinese yuan on changing her looks and now she cannot even recognize her. She threatens to disown her if she doesn't stop. Yu seems remorseful after listening to her mom, but ironically, her face forbids her from crying because she has just got surgery that would keep her lips upward all the time. We tried to find out more about Yu's personal life by going on her Weibo, but we're not exactly sure if this is her. Trust me, we really tried. This woman has the same name as you and looks roughly the same. But you know, millions of Chinese girls who had plastic surgeries look exactly the same. It's getting really hard to tell who's who. Teen takes fangirling to the extreme. An Angelina Jolie ultra fan from Iran is going viral after journeying through a thousand cuts to look like her idol. The 19-year-old claims she's undergone over 50 surgeries to achieve her shocking transformation. She's also lost a ton of weight in her quest to be as slim as Jolie and now weighs just 88 pounds. Natine has been posting photos of her new look on her Instagram, which has amassed nearly 500,000 followers. Netizens have been pretty brutal with their comments, saying she looks more like Tim Burton's corpse bride than a Hollywood star. Others aren't buying the crazy plastic surgery shtick and believe she's using makeup and prosthetics to exaggerate her features. If she is, then those are some mad skills. One user on Reddit is convinced she's using Photoshop too, after spotting weird distortions in some of her photos. Whatever it is, if internet fame was the end game, then she definitely got her 15 minutes. Fake Kim Jong Un seeks asylum in Hong Kong. Mr. Kim. Yeah, it is an honor to meet Mr. Kim here in uh, Hong Kong. I was very surprised. He looked exactly. <laughs> The same. This is the supposedly first ever Kim Jong Un impersonator. Can you tell who's the real Kim Jong Un? Howard Ron, a 35 year Australian, was born in Hong Kong. He's a musician, but once he puts on a mouse suit and gels his hair, he looks like the infamous young North Korean dictator. It is fun to pose with everyone and play dictator for the day. The key to becoming him is to always look unhappy and dissatisfied. It is his trademark look. I thought it actually was Kim Jong Un himself doing a bit of moonlighting and trying to get some extra cash. His impersonation of Kim Jong Un went viral on Facebook last April, and later even won him a commercial opportunity from an Israeli fast food company. Eat hamburger, Namoya. 
Cam Jachi Bia, Obama, and Nunaba. Meet this America. He then nukes the USA in this commercial. Nanom, Kim Jong Ida. Okay. I come here to seek asylum at the US Embassy. I'm defecting. Are you sure? I'm defecting, yes, I'm defecting. Tell Kim Jong is here to see the Consulate General to seek asylum. Wait a minute. Okay. And then he was left outside the door. What are you doing here? Not on Kim Jong Ida. Although he did this for fun, netizens and even Howard are both worried that the North Korean government will assassinate him one day. Superman may not really exist, but his lookalike does, and he lives in the Philippines. Herbert Chavez is the Guinness World Record holder for the largest collection of Superman memorabilia, but that wasn't enough. 36-year-old Chavez has endured 19 surgeries over 16 years to make himself look like the comic superhero as well. The surgeries included nose jobs, lip liposuction, skin lightening, jaw realignment, pectoral implants, and abdominal implants, which has so far only cost him about 7,000 US dollars as he gets surgeries for free in exchange for promoting his doctor's practice. Chavez says he has no regrets and that people are always excited to see a real-life Superman in the Philippines. Next, Chavez plans on undergoing a procedure to implant metal in his legs to make him taller. But with the recovery time involved in that, how will he get away when Kevin Spacey shows up with kryptonite? Human Ken Doll gets detained in Dubai. Human Ken Doll Rodrigo Alves had some trouble with Dubai immigration after his plastic features got called out by the facial recognition software. Body obsessed Alves has been on a quest for plastic perfection. Over the years, he's blown over half a million dollars to get nipped and tucked more than 50 times. With so much surgery and so little time, even his official documents can't keep up. So while jet-setting to Dubai recently, he got detained for looking nothing like his passport photo. He had to wait three hours before being let into the country, though apparently that's not the first time it's happened. Doctors have warned the 34-year-old not to get anything else fixed, but it seems Ken might be holding out for one last bang before he retires. Claiming he doesn't want to end up a saggy old man, Alves says he'll pull a Caitlyn Jenner and get a sex change in his 50s. So while his chicken and eggs are the only real part of him left, they need to go because Barbie's coming. Though really the more important concern is, what kind of Barbie will he be? Oh bother. Winnie the Pooh won't be getting his Chinese big screen debut now, or probably ever, thanks to his resemblance to China's top dog. Chinese censors have apparently denied the release of Disney's Christopher Robin film, which features the honey-crazed bear. They didn't say why, but everyone and their Chinese grandma knows it's because of Xi Jinping's hate-hate relationship with his pot-bellied doppelganger. Xi's nightmare started in 2013 when a photo of him and Obama walking together was compared with a pretty spot-on image of Pooh and Tigger doing the exact same thing. A year later, Xi Jing Pooh resurfaced on the internet, this time with Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe as Eeyore. Needless to say, Xi Jinping is not a fan. So now if anyone on Chinese social media so much as breathes Pooh, you best bet the Great Firewall will block you, your whole family, and your cow. It's been pointed out that the film block may just be due to China's foreign film quota. So Mission Impossible, Ant-Man and the Wasp, and Skyscraper are all okay, but you're afraid of a cartoon bear? Noted.